If you can feel like you're giving back in any way and that something good can come of such a terrible situation, it feels good. A former Tempe, Arizona police officer sharing her story after surviving a stabbing back in March of 2015. Julie Werniak was just one of several guest speakers at the second annual Little Rock Department's or Police Department's Women's Symposium. Well, the conference provides hundreds of female officers throughout the state an opportunity to gain valuable training and leadership and professional skills. It also gave them a chance to hear from three different female police chiefs from different states. Fox 16's Rochelle Turner at the conference and talking one-on-one -on -one with Werniak about her important message to other officers, Rochelle. Good evening and Kevin and Donna, besides talking about the critical incident that she experienced and the aftermath that she had to go through, she just wants other women in law enforcement to find what works best for them and then do it if they were in a similar situation. Speaking to inspire in front of a crowd full of women in law enforcement. When officers say, hey, you know what, that hit home for me or I'm going to get the help that I need now, you know, um, or I'm going to start training or I'm going to start working out then we're successful in our presentation. Julie Warnack served 20 years before retiring from the Tempe, Arizona Police Department in 2016. In 2015, she experienced a critical incident after responding to a check welfare call. He leaped out with a large hunting knife overhead and uh, he stabbed me just above my left clavicle in the neck. She credits her training in law enforcement and martial arts that saved her life. It's about being prepared, you know, being physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually prepared for this type of incident. It's about being 100% present in the moment so that you can properly address the threat. That's very beneficial, I think, for any, any officer to hear and move forward. Assistant Police Chief for the Little Rock Police Department, Alice Folk, says women bring a much needed perspective to law enforcement. It's interesting and I find that um, we're able to sometimes help calm situations. Maybe we approach things a little differently and I think that having diversity in the police department is always positive. Now, Falk says she wants women to know that they can get to a level of a chief and move up in the ranks at their department. Now, she did serve as the interim chief last month, and she has officially applied to be the chief of the of Little Rock Police Department. I will say this, this kind of training is so important, and it's good to see that so many women are wanting to step up in law enforcement. Um, talk about some of the other things about this conference, because while this is very valuable, like she said, being 100% present in the moment when tragedy is happening, well, what else are they teaching them? Well, Donna, today they learned from a n number of things, and they also heard from three different female chiefs from North Carolina, Arizona, and Texas, and they kind of all shared what their experiences have been like over these past years and then tomorrow they're going to be hearing from officials about mental wellness professionalism and leadership well there you go sounds good yeah. all right thank you turning now to a safe